everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the Samsung Galaxy S mobile phone. Now this is video number four, something a little bit different for you. In this video I'm going to be covering a reception issue on the Galaxy S. Now you've probably all heard about the reception issues on the iPhone 4. I actually showed you it in my own review of the iPhone 4 where if you hold the phone in a certain way and cover up the little sort of break in the stainless steel band you do actually get a drop in signal. Now that isn't just unique to the iPhone 4, it's been reported now that a lot of mobile phones behave in the same way and the Galaxy S is no different and I just wanted to show you one of the settings menus in here which may give you a little bit of an insight into what's happening. Now if I tap on the menu button there and then go into settings and then I'm going to go into about phone and then I've got here a status menu which I'm going to go into now. So now we're in the status menu and on the Samsung Galaxy S you've got four bars to show your signal strength. There's also a signal strength readout down here on the display. It's currently showing minus 81 dBm and 16 ASU. Now I looked up these readings on the internet and I want to tell you what they actually mean. DBM actually shows the signal strength in decibels above or below one milliwatt. And ASU stands for Active Set Updates, and this is the rate at which the phone is able to update its location in relation to cell phone towers and radios. What I'm trying to get across here is this will fluctuate all the time. Even if you just move from one room to another in your house, the cell phone pickup could change, and it would change your signal strength rate. Now what Apple have said is their algorithms are wrong, so their uh, bar readout at the top of the display on the iPhone is actually inaccurate. On the Samsung Galaxy S it seems to be very, very sensitive. As you can see it's fluctuated there. Even if I perhaps shield the side of the phone, it's showing minus 81 dBm and, and 16 ASUs. And if I hold the phone perhaps at the bottom, here we go, so I'm now cupping that bottom left hand corner, it's minus 105 dBm and only 4 ASU, so the rate at which it can update the information has changed. We've also dropped down to two bars on the signal strength. So this wasn't to demonstrate that the Galaxy S is bad in any way, it was just to really demonstrate that all mobile phones do suffer from similar issues, and the algorithms they use to relay this information up to the signal bars at the top could be different. Well thanks very much for watching this video, please do check out the next video because that is going to be video number 5, my full review of the Samsung Galaxy S. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.